was several months ago, I did a little video series where I kind of tried out a whole bunch of different Euro Tackle soft plastics out of their micro finesse section. Now I did not try all of them and since then they've actually added a couple more. So over the next couple weeks I think I'm going to try out a couple more of those. So the one we're going to look at today is the Fat Assassin. This is a two inch soft plastic. Uh, the eight pack is about four bucks if I'm not mistaken. I already got one of these here tied on. Uh, it's actually a little bit longer than what I was expecting. I mean I knew it was two inches but it has this very very uh, I guess very soft and rippled tail section here which should provide a whole bunch of action in the water and the ripples hopefully they catch a lot of bubbles and this should produce a lot of vibration a lot of noise it is on a 1 8 uh, sorry 1 32nd ounce jig head right now and a pretty small hook um, I'm, just, I'm a little worried that the fish is going to bite the tail here and pull but that should not be a problem I'm looking around because I'm hearing these noises in the bushes but those are probably just some small lizards so anyway so we're going to fish this. I think it looks a lot like a leech. That's probably what I would compare it to. We'll throw this around and we'll see if we can get some sort of panfish or bass on this little thing. So there is a better look at the lure we're going to be going with. It is the Bluegill Pro color. Basically it's like a little silver with some blue and gold glitter flakes. So I haven't been on this lake in months, since last spring I believe. So we'll fish this around and we'll see if there are any sort of panfish out there. Maybe some small bass that want to go after this fat assassin. There we go, first cast. Look at that. Solid fish, let's get him out of those grasses. What is this? Is it a, oh, nice peacock. It's at least on the ultralight. It's not huge. Oh no, he's down in the weeds. No, no, no. Come on, dude. We pull him up through here nice and easy. He swam straight down in all these heavy weeds. Come on, I don't want to lose the first fish of the day like this. He's still on. All right, come on. Man, the water's deep right there. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, look at this guy. First fish of the day on the fat assassin. Alright, so there is our first fish of the day. Respectable sized little peacock bass. Put up a nice fight on the ultralight. Can't believe we got on our first cast, but that is good news for the fat assassin. So let's get this guy back. Alright, one cast with the fat assassin, and we got one nice peacock on the bank. So we'll make one more cast here. There is some deep water there with some grasses around. So let's work this back in. Let's see if there's another fish hanging out there, and then we will move on. There we go, another fish on. Feels like another nice one. Just keep him out of those grasses there. Oh, it's a Mayan. So one peacock, one Mayan, and I think I lost another bass of some sort. All right, there it is, fish number two officially on the bank, a little Mayan cichlid. So we got one peacock, one Mayan. That guy's back. Let's keep going with the fat assassin. There we go, fish on. Not a big one. Let's get him up over these grasses and I dropped him. It was a little largemouth. There's usually a lot of fish here, but it's always tough to bring them on through these grasses. You kind of got to reel them over the top before they get a chance to tangle themselves up, especially on this four pound test.
There we go. Fish on. Ooh. Come on. Oh. I've hooked up with a couple fish here. Uh, this guy tore my soft plastic off too, like the, the he ripped the tail off. I think that'll still work, so I'll keep fishing it. Maybe I should play these guys in a little bit, a little bit more instead of trying to force them, even with these tall grasses. There we go, fish on. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Finally, first largemouth out of there. All right, let me tell you, I had, I don't know, five hits. I hooked up with a couple of them, but we finally got our first largemouth through those grasses. Not a big one, but our third fish on the bank on the fattest acid. Yeah, so even with the torn off tail, we still got that large mouth to hit. I'm gonna keep fishing it just because I don't want to replace another one of these soft plastics this soon. This is already my third one. Another fish bit the tail off a little bit earlier. But the fish do seem to love it. There we go, another one right on the edge of the grass line there. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger, I think. Come on, dude. Yeah. All right, a little bit of a bigger largemouth. A little bit bigger than what I would consider a dink. Not a huge, though. So another fish on the fat assassin. They do seem to love that little soft plastic lure. There we go, fish on, little guy. Alrighty, another little dink of a large mouth right out of these grasses here on the little Euro Tackle Fat Assassin. So all I've been doing is casting out, letting it sink. I usually don't like to get, let these guys hit the bottom just because I feel like I get snagged a lot. So I like to swim it back, nice steady retrieve, and then twitch the rod tip a little bit, make that lure bounce up and down. And especially in this spot here, once I get it close to the weeds and the grass line, that's where I've been getting all the hits. There we go, fish on, little guy. Flip him on over here, another largey. All right, another little dink of a large mouth on the fat assassin. So we'll get this guy back and we'll see if we can pick up one more here by the fountain. Yeah, so this lure has some great action in the water. Tough to see, but that tail flops around so, so much, even with the slightest twitch of the rod tip. And it really seems to be attracting a lot of bites from a lot of fish. Missed the first hit, got the second hit. 
Uh, ooh, that one's pulling a little bit better. Oh, it's a pretty nice sized peacock. Let's try to get him through here. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Uh, all right. All right, nicest fish of the day. These guys always have so much fight to them, even after they're caught. Nice sized peacock bass. I'm surprised I was able to pull through all of these pads, but let's just drop that guy back and let's keep going. Oh, we got a small gator out there. I've never seen a gator well, one, not only here, but I've never seen a gator in like the heart of Weston. I've seen them in like the canals, kind of on the edges, but never right in the middle of the city like this. So that's an interesting little observation. And I just got some weeds. So that is gonna do it for the day. First time using the Fat Assassin, and I've gotta say, uh, number one, I, I really like it. I mean, just look at the tail action. This flops around really, really nicely in the water. Uh, obviously, tons of fish today. I've only been out here less than an hour, so all those fish in less than an hour is pretty good. Also lost a bunch of fish. Uh, but the, there's two kind of issues that I have with, with this lure. I kind of mentioned them in the beginning. Number, they're, they're both having to do with the tail. It produces a lot of action, so it's nicely designed uh, in that regard. But also, a lot of fish just kind of bite it, pull it, and they don't get their um, mouth around the hook. So I've probably got to use a little bit bigger hook, but if I do that, then the action won't be as good. So kind of, uh, you give something and you take something. At the same time, it's not a super durable lure. I've had to go through, this is my fourth, my fifth, my fourth or fifth soft plastic in only an hour. I broke one off on a fish, but all the other ones, they just got kind of the tail got grabbed and torn off by some smaller fish. So kind of uh, a downer there. But yeah, I think it is a very nice lure. A lot of action, produces a lot of bites. So I will be definitely using this lure again. So hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.